I am begging you to take down your videos about my niece so that her siblings can find some peace. And for me. Christ, I've been through enough. You made your point. You left the videos up. You made your point. You made your fucking money off it. Give these kids and give me some peace now and take those videos down. Now, you may be wondering why I'm still bringing this up. Jen Felici has been dead for a number of months. Well, she's still being trolled, if you can believe that. Harley Johnston has been online saying, is she really dead, though? Are you sure it's not a scam? As though this isn't a real situation, as though there aren't grieving people, you know, trying to deal with her dying, um, as though the things you do online find no expression in real people's hearts. To be sorry for something, you wouldn't repeat an action. You told people that a woman is a scam artist. This woman has been dead for three, four months now. You came on last week and you repeated it. Is she even dead? Uh, is there any proof of this right here? You're still shitting on a dead woman. There's a very big disconnect between their actions and their words. A lot of narcissists, this is a great way to catch a narcissist really, is you know they'll, they'll tell you that they're so sorry for their behavior, but yet they're still doing the behavior. Just when you think Harley cannot outdo himself, just when you think it can't get any worse, nope, he did it again. I don't want to give him any more attention, but this is for Jennifer and her family. I'm appalled that people still support Harley. More people need to realize how damaging he is to the online community. It's hardly surprising that he would say something so blatantly disrespectful as this about Jennifer. Even though she passed away a few months ago, my condolences to her family will never forget her and it's so disrespectful of him to say this. Nobody owes you anything, Harley. Why, who, like, who do you think you are? Even though his video on cancer scams from a few months ago was deleted, you can still find it around. And on his Tumblr, if you search Jen Journey, you can still find the insulting comments he made about her. The damning accusations that, in his honest opinion, she was a scammer, a scam artist, a drug addict. He could see the evil in her eyes. She was faking her terminal breast cancer with black salve on her chest. And her level of self-entitlement sickened him. But the fact that her family had to post medical documents proving that she did in fact have cancer and that he still didn't believe it and still promoting this notion to his groupies. It's so disrespectful and shameful. It's insulting to Jennifer, her family, and all the cancer patients and sufferers out there. He always says he's open to being proven wrong, yet when he is, he twists and manipulates the situation so he comes out on top. He can never admit he's wrong. He can never acknowledge his wrongdoings and rectify them. It's like he's incapable of it. He wants proof of her death certificate? You can Google her obituary if you really need to, Harley. How dare you? Do you have any decency or compassion? It upsets me and it upsets a lot of people. What a despicable, vile person he is. I can't even say human being because that would imply that he possesses some kind of emotion, decency and compassion. And like questioning her death? So I think Harley definitely crossed the line, as he has done many times before. And the fact that people still stand by him is disgusting. Calling other people frauds and criminals when he's the real fraud and criminal here he should really look in the mirror because he's projecting this has nothing to do with veganism his videos so I do know as a murderer now apparently that I'm a murderer uh, because I didn't give two hundred thousand dollars or whatever was asked for me for a juice thing or else like that and asking me directly for two hundred thousand dollars I'm thinking hang on you're asking for like two hundred thousand dollars or whatever you're asking for this is for strangers for me and you're not willing to provide proof. This seems like a scam. So I said something like, you know, this person's like maybe a drug user or whatever. But what people did is they took that video, re-uploaded it, cut it, edited it, didn't show the ending or the start or the follow-up videos, and took me out of context. And they still do that, even on the Tumblr post I wrote. They still take me out of context. They don't understand that those Tumblr posts were edited or removed or whatever, or photoshopped or... And it's just more people take me out of context. Let's take a look at how Harley was taken out of context. Although he has tried to delete all traces of his original statements, uh, the thing with the internet is that once you put things up, it's really hard to get it completely removed. There's like, there was last year, there was someone, or this year, whenever it was, there was someone asking for money. There's always people asking for money for camps or whatever on the internet. And a lot of it turned out to be schemes. And so I, someone said, what do you think of this one? And I'm like, yeah, it seems a bit fishy. And so I really baited it and like, I, you know, said, I, I believe it's a scam myself. I didn't mention the person's name. And there's a few people involved, so 
is it is a general video. If I'm talking about a specific person, you'll know who I'm talking about because I'll mention their name on the YouTube channel. But I didn't want to do that in this situation because I felt that it was a general video. General video, huh? In his video, he says, if you know who I'm talking about, you know who I'm talking about. So he was talking about a specific person and people did know who he was talking about because as we just saw, her name was mentioned in his Tumblr. Now notice how he apologizes. He's not apologizing for what he did. He's apologizing for people taking offense. And he's pushing this idea that they took offense for him being taken out of context, not for what he did. That's not apologizing, that's just more lies. So I do apologize if people got offended. They might say, I'm really sorry that you feel that way. Right. You gotta fucking apologize, you piece of shit. You fucking piece of shit, apologize. Like, what the fuck? Narcissists, um, well, they don't like to apologize for a number of reasons. And probably the biggest one is they really don't feel like they need to justify or explain any of their behavior because they have this blinding degree of entitlement and they also have like a jaw dropping level of selfishness, right? So of course it's all about them. Another part of it is if they obviously acknowledge that they did wrong, then they're caught. So you can't really continue to manipulate um, if you actually admit, if you, if, if you would admit to things, right? Because if they come right out and say, yes, that's almost, it's dangerous information, right? It's outside of their control. Once they release all and acknowledge that information, who knows what's going to happen to it, right? And so they don't like that. They need that power and control. They need to protect their public image. It's, it's how they continue to manipulate people. Harley is a clinical narcissist with no compassion, no empathy, and no accountability. And I will not stand by and watch this abusive person hurt more people.